having been camping as a kid and stuff, um, we always used um, tent pegs and you'd hammer them in. And, um, you know, when I went camping as an adult, I'd have the tent pegs and I'd hammer them in. And uh, it was just the way you did it. And uh, having got back into camping recently, I started joining a few camping groups and saw that people were carrying drills to uh, drill um, big screws into the ground instead of using um, tent pegs and hammering them. And my initial thought was, oh really, there's another thing I have to carry. <laughs> I kind of thought, oh look, it's really not that big of a deal just to hammer the pegs in. But then I went on a camp to a place where the, the campsite seemed to have had a lot of fill put in it to make it level. It was next to a river and I'm assuming maybe it was really quite steep and they they raised it and made it level on that spot and um I don't know it was bricks or rocks or whatever that had been sort of all all in that fill and um so it was really really hard to hammer the pegs in and uh I actually ended up getting a really sore shoulder in fact I didn't sleep very well that night because my shoulder was so sore I've got weird dicky shoulders it's like an an old injury from something and it flares up occasionally and it turns out hammering pegs in makes it flare up so um, I started looking into these pegs uh, the screw in pegs or big screws and people were using all sorts of various things there's a whole lot of different brands that you can that you can buy and um, there were also uh, people were just buying screws designed for building from um, Bunnings and places like that and uh, anyway, so I started looking up reviews for all the different types of screw-in pegs. And I came across um, some called Easy Anchor. And um, it's an Australian company, and which I liked, you know, because it's nice to support the country that you're from and create local jobs and stuff. So they have this, this is the base, and the rope goes through there, or the hook or whatever you need to put through it, the guy rope. And then there's the screw. And there's this, um, this is the shorter, shorter one for uh, inland areas where the ground is quite hard. Um, and they also have longer ones. So let's say this goes from here to here. The longer one probably is about that long. And the longer one is for coastal areas where the soil is a lot softer. And uh, it's, um, the screws can go down a lot deeper. Whereas they can't go quite so deep in the hard soil. Um, so yeah, anyway, and this then screws into the ground, you put this on the ground, you put your guy rope in it, and you screw that down with an actual screwdriver. And after I had such a sore shoulder, um, like, you know, bad enough that I didn't sleep very well. I decided that maybe it was worth a go getting these screw-in pegs. So yeah, that's when I looked at all the reviews and found the Easy Anchor ones and Australian company, la -di da and uh, I thought, yeah, let's let's do that. That seems worth a try. Dog, you're about to knock the tripod over. Um, and uh, yeah, so they've been really good actually. Um, my shoulder is not sore. Well, it's it's been a little bit sore just from living. <laughs> and um but yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't aching last night after setting up and um it's made a huge difference and i'm really glad i got them um i i suppose i could have gone a lot cheaper and got um some from bunnings or whatever but i sort of i didn't want to muck around i didn't want to get the wrong type of pegs and then waste my money whoops doggy oh my goodness you're so dirty come here say hi Look, hello. <laughs> Come on. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I got the I got the easy anchors, and um, I'm actually I'm really impressed. This thing is strong as, and uh, if you can see here, it's got like a little channel there for so when it's sitting in this direction, if uh, if it's raining, the water just like leaks right out. So I guess it means that your screw heads aren't going to be sitting in water, and they're not going to go rusty. Um, they're 
designed not to go rusty, whatever it is, the coating that they have on them. And the special type of metal. But yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, I don't know if you can see this. At the very end there, I can see my reflection in the glass, but I can't actually see what's being recorded here. Okay, on the very end there, I don't know if you can see that. It's very fine, but uh, from about here to here, the um, thread is slightly serrated. So I guess that helps it to get into the ground and break up the dirt a bit. And then it's smoother from there, um, there through to the end. And I guess that's just the rest of the thread is what helps hold it in. So yeah, I'm really impressed. I'm glad I got them. They're based on the Gold Coast in Queensland, I think, if I remember that correctly. And uh, yeah, they were really helpful. I had heaps of questions because I wasn't sure what type to get. And they have various packs available um, where you get like, um, I think just maybe, is it four or eight screws at a time or something? And maybe a pack that's got a mix of the coastal and the inland screws. So despite my initial skepticism in wondering why people would bother <laughs> when, when I was in pain, I realized that it made such a difference and it's really good. I had to, um, I had to adjust the vestibule, the sort of front section on the tent, rather than having to pull everything out using brute strength and um, then hammer it all back in again and then realize it was in the wrong spot because once I moved the pole, it was slightly adjusted and it was all crooked and uh, I was just able to use my um, drill and unscrew them and screw them back in again. So that was really handy. So uh, whether you have some kind of injury that flares up when you use a mallet to hammer pegs in or not, um, these really do save a lot of time. It made setup heaps quicker. So I was very happy with that. And um, most of all, I was just happy that my shoulder wasn't aching really badly. So yeah, worth a try, I reckon.